Stop pushing this poison. It kills. It ruins lives. And it will ruin yours, too, when we catch you, convict you, and send you to federal prison. A dire warning about the drug behind the Bronx daycare tragedy as we learn more about what investigators say they uncovered inside. And tonight, the owner of that daycare breaks down in tears as she comes face to face with a federal judge. Good evening, I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. The heartbreaking story capturing national attention and also raising a lot of questions about the safety of daycares inside people's homes. Here is where the investigation stands right now tonight. The daycare owner and her husband's cousin were both denied bail tonight in federal court. The owner's husband is still on the run, and at last check, those three children who survived are still in the hospital, one of them in critical condition. CBS 2's Alicia Reed was in the courtroom for hours today, and she joins us now live with an update. Alicia? Christina Maurice Gray Mendez was visibly emotional when she walked into court today. She had shackles on her feet. Both her mother and her oldest daughter were there to support her. Gray Mendez broke down in tears, wailing the moment a federal judge decided she would not be granted bail. Mendez and her co defendant, Carlisto Acevedo Brito, are accused of running a fentanyl distribution ring inside a daycare. Law enforcement officials releasing photos of the fentanyl they say was found in a hallway closet at the daycare and kilo press machines often used to package and distribute drugs. In particular, they found a brick of fentanyl, about one kilogram in weight, right on top of children's play mats in the daycare's closet. Both Mendez and Brito used translators in court Tuesday. They were facing dozens of charges, including murder with a depraved indifference, and now two federal counts of conspiracy to distribute resulting in death and possession with intent to distribute resulting in death after one-year-old Nicholas Dominici was killed. Mendez is accused of calling three people, including her husband, before calling 911. Her husband, described as a co conspirator, showed up to the daycare and hasn't been seen since. Minutes later, he left the daycare and fled out the back alley, carrying two full shopping bags. And all of that happened while the children, the babies, were suffering from the effects of fentanyl poisoning and in desperate need of help. We're not going to give up. We're not going to. We're going to get him. Mendez allegedly deleted over 21,000 text messages to her husband while at the police precinct. She and Brito are facing a minimum of 20 years and a maximum of life in prison. Prosecutors say fentanyl is the deadliest drug the country has ever seen, telling the judge it kills 150 people in the U.S. each day. Fentanyl is the most urgent threat in our nation. And the tragedy that unfolded in the Bronx demonstrates the danger that fentanyl poses to every New Yorker. Mendez's defense asked for $100,000 bail, saying she's not a flight risk, but the judge denied it. When questioned by detectives, both Brito and Mendez denied knowing anything about drugs at the daycare. Live from Manhattan Federal Court, Alicia Reed, CBS 2 News. Alicia, thank you. And stay with CBS 2 for continuing coverage of the daycare story. To read the complaint and watch the U.S. Attorney's News Conference, head over to CBSNewYork.com.